Hi folks, Luca at Shepherd Trades. It's uh, Thursday and I'm doing this uh, recording a day earlier. Um, I won't be doing um, alerts tomorrow, I'm still traveling uh, today through uh, the weekend. So, doing the recording today and um, it's been really a difficult market as you can see since last week, major drop from 279 down to 274. Today was as low as 273.68. The Nasdaq ugly picture with a bearish reversal signal, bearish engulfing, and the Dow Jones industrials just as bad broke below the 30, the 50 simple the moving average, and it's down very close to 24,335. So, very ugly picture in the market. Um, we have to be very careful. This is the kind of market where it's better to sit on your cash, cash is a position, if you enter a position, keep your stops tight and um, take profit when you can. So let's, uh, this is going to be an abbreviated version again because I'm on the road, so I'll get through the stocks that are working, those that are not working and uh, I also sent you a list, uh, I regularly send you a list with the stocks that are borderline in support and stocks that broke support, so we'll take those off the list um, if they are on the off list line. Okay, so let's get started with ALDR. Well, first of all, let's go to the SPY. So, the SPY. Ugly picture. Look at this. 276, basically, major resistance. There was not even one little tiny shadow above. This, right at the opening, the bears had just taken the price down hard, came all the way down to 274, held support, bounce, and then came down to 1034 in May, that, that's what it is. So it looks like we are in a, a bear flag formation, or in a flag formation, falling channel. If this is the direction, it will take the price down to potentially 272 and maybe 271 where we, where we find the 50 simple the moving average. A break above the flag, then we could see around to 279, top of the channel. But again, this is a market to be very careful, OBV pointing down, number volume increasing, money stream moving below the moving averages, so those are all bearish signals. Let's go to the Nasdaq, as I said before, bearish engulfing, major reversal candle, OBV pointing down, this was the, in, these were the indices, the, the Nasdaq, that was doing better than anyone else, but this is a reversal signal. Now, we had one here too, very similar, reversal signal with a much bigger lower shadow, price closing above the 8. This is not closing by the 8, close below it and close below the resistance at 77.23. A lower opening or a fell below today's low, this will drop down to 76.68 and 76.00. So be very careful with the market moving forward. And finally, the Dow Jones is in bad shape below the moving averages and below all these very important support areas. Next, it could drop down to 24.35 and then 24. A reversal could bring us up to 25,000 and maybe 25,328. Look at the moving averages, pay attention to those areas, and again, take profit when you can, not when you have when you have to. So let's look at the individual stocks, starting with ALDR. ALDR, it's worked right here when I sent you the alert, reached the target and extended further, and then pulled back. Um, considering how the market is behaving, this is still holding the support. I don't want price below. The 17 area and the bottom of the channel. This is your line in the sand. Bottom of the channel needs to hold. This is a, not an ugly. This is kind of an ugly picture because it is also reversal signal. So we need to see price start making some bullish move very soon. Otherwise, this will roll over. Areas to hold right here. Targets 18, 19, 40, and 20, 84. AMD reached all of our targets and beyond. Extended as I has 17, 35, and then. Indecision, bigger indecision, dodgy, spinning top, and then the decision was made, which is down. So now this is moving down, OBV pointing down, moving averages are right there holding the support. This is the line in the sand, 1560, line in the sand. So any drop below today's uh, low, this will roll down to 14 and then 13. So be very careful. 14 is a strong support, but this has already come up. Uh, me, uh, big percentage from 10 30 10 80 when I sent it alert and now it's 17 so take your profit don't give them back to the market hurry hurry is working very well 
Um, it broke out of an all-time high here at 1878, extended yesterday, today, and inside day. Considering how bad the market is performing, uh, this is doing quite well. So, I don't want a price below 1878, and definitely for a longer term, 17 needs to hold. Targets 21, 23, 25. A R W R. After reaching our target here and extending up to 14 yesterday made the reversal signal and a little bit today so this is a little bit of indec indecision it's tricky because it could go either direction so be careful with this one i would like the eight to hold and um, the bottom of the channel targets 16 15 67 and then 17 20 somewhere around this area asna it's working after reaching the target Consolidating, pulling back, support the four held, as well as the trend channel. So, trend channel needs to hold. Targets 465 again, and if you get a push through, 554 and 649. ADXL, it's in uh, sideways consolidation, uh, still closing above the 8 and still closing above the 4. So, overall, this is positive. OBD, it's still quite up there, so that's good. Pointing down a little bit, but not a problem so far. 4 and the descending trend line need to hold. Targets 5 and 616, 661. Bit also continues to work, holding above the ATMA and the trend channel is still intact. So as long as price remains above 45, we're good to go. Targets 47, 48, 88, mid channel and 51. When I did didn't send you the alert today, it was part of the watch list in the early action. If you did happen to catch it, reach the target at 817 and pull back. If you like this uh, particular pattern, which is a breakout with volume, um, 745, 743, and today's opening, 723, those areas need to hold, as well as the uh, breakout area. Targets 817, 9, and 1030. Bazoon, so Bazoon broke support right here when it moved below the mid-channel and then drop as far down as uh, 56.75 so pull back this is a reversal signal is a, a long-legged doji or dragonfly doji and then a positive opening means the bulls have taken control and now we're going higher there is the target one of the targets is 64 today ugly signal which mirrors the market and 16 is too old. This is a support area. Ideally, I like to see it back above the trend line. And if it moves above the, the trend line and above 64, we could see 67, 72, and 76. Again, 60, line in the same. Cara, it's moving sideways. Still doing well. Lots of indecision. Look at all this dodgy. Lots of indecision. Still above the 8. That's the positive sign. Drop below the 8. It will test the 21 simple demo moving average and 15, 50. Break above 17. You could see 18. 1940 and 2086. Cassie, this did not work. This was a, a trade I sent you here when price was testing the 50 simple moving average at 8683 8, and we had the tight stop at 661. And then I sent an alert when price was falling. 661 is to hold and it didn't hold, so I hope you exit the position. Some of those day trades, especially in market conditions like today, you know they can go either way so this didn't hold and came look at this all the way down to 572 this is a support now but look with this massive volume green bar and this major drop well looks very scary could probably drop down to right here five but if we get some reversal candle because this is the positive news that broke this falling channel and uh, price was up at 750 in the uh, 840 actually in the pre-market so very dramatic drop right now this is off the list but uh, if we see a change in the pattern um, i'll let you know sales continues to work break out uh, reach the target at 7 30 now it's holding above the trend channel right here i want the atma to hold so that's seven target 773 and 828 chgg well, move below the ATMA and bounce between this support 
at 27, 24, and resistance at 28. So this has broken lateral, has broken lateral support and the trend line support right through here. So from this standpoint, this is off the list. However, it's making an indecision move, a positive opening and a move above the 21 simple the moving average. We could see 29 again and a test of the channel. A move below today's close, 28. Price will test 27, 24, EM, 20, 34 EMA and 25. So this for me this is off the list, but if you like this pattern and you see some positive going, we could see again this area right here. Con after running for three straight days, consolidated, pull back, found support 34, now it's up 35.68. As long as it remains above the 8, that's a good to go. Target 37, 41, 44. Cron, it's working well. Broke out, extended, very close to the target at 794. If it breaks out about 820, 817, we could see an extension, I'm going to put a target right here, at uh, 876, next target, and then 967. ATMA needs to hold. CTRP, this is off the list. After extending from uh, 45 all the way up to 51, oh, 52 almost, 51, 90, 93, 91. Pull back, broke below the ATMA, and is still trending below the ATMA. So unless this moves above the ATMA, I'm not considering this off the list. It's consolidating, pull back. If we see a breakout, it would be an opportunity to re-enter, but for now, hope you took your profits. DDD. DDD worked a little bit sideways, dropped down. On this day, it seems like it was going to move and move above the highs right here at um, 15, 14.99 and 14.93. It did a little bit pull back, and today extended to 15.34 and then major reversal closing below the ATMA and 14.48 support area. This is a bearish engulfing. This could drop much lower, especially with the OBD slightly moving below the moving average. Well, it's right there, but everything is pointing down. So a negative opening, this will roll down to 12.80. Be careful. The NDP is working very well after the breakout. Alert, extended, sideways, another breakout, extended as high as uh, 9.63 yesterday, today, it looks like it's rolling down a little bit. ATMA needs to hold, as well as the support right here at 8.33 for a little bit more risk. Etsy, beautiful run, found the resistance at 44, big indecision, big spinning top, look at this. So this a positive opening, and a move above those eyes right here which will be 44.78, we could see 46, 50, and 53. A drop below here, 43, we could see 42, and 40, 70, and potentially even 38. So be careful, this could roll over. Exas, massive move, consolidation, big pullback, and then another massive move, and now it's consolidating. Still above the 8, as long as it's above the 8, good to go. And move below 5867.50, uh, it will roll down. Targets 60, 70, 73, 77, and 8. HCSG continues to work, extended to reach the target of 41, consolidated, big pullback on this day, and then a major bounce back on the same day. Above the support, back above the support, and and now it's extending the target is 44. After that, 47 and the red line. So it looks like we're getting the direction. So below 42, 418. Or if you like more tight, uh, less tight stop, 40. HPQ breakout, raise the target one and two consolidation. Looks like it's holding, considering how the day went on Wall Street. Targets 24. 25.60 and top of the channel. HZNP. Well, it's moving sideways. The breakout didn't quite occur. was uh, an up bar volume, but not much to push price. So reach the resistance at 18.30, 13, and then pull back. Today, it's still consolidating. It's still above the ATMA and the support is 17.53. That's the line in the sand. A lower opening, it could drop the price down to 
17. Be careful if this doesn't get going soon. We could consolidate it for some time. Targets 1858, 1986, and 2182. Demo, breakout, extended, uh, very close to the target of 26. 48, so that was 26, and then a pullback. So this is mirroring the market. Bobby V is pointing right about the moving average. This needs to hold, and as well as the ATMA right here in the chart. Targets are 26, 48, 29, 14, and 32. INS, uh, INS Y continues to work after having reached our first and second target. Pullback held support to one simple moving average and the ATMA. Moved above 8, and this is the same trend line. Today extended. They're looking for 876 again. 972 and 1050 are the next targets. Geo. Breakout. Reached the target at 9. Roll down a little bit. Couple of days below the ATMA. And now looks like it's ready to go again. A close at the 907. The high on this day was 915. So if it moves above 915 with volume, we could see 10, 11, and 12. Stop. Again, the ATMA or below the lows right here uh, at 820. KMI reached the target at 1767, roll over today, still above the ATMA, looks okay. I want to see price go back above this area, uh, 1720, and a break above 1767, we could see 1877 and then 1972. Meat continues to work as long as it stays above the ATMA, stay long. Targets. 450 again, 5, 544, and 628. Momo broke the support right here, move below the ATMA. So this for now it's off the list. At some point, if something reverses, we'll let you know. Support the 50 is holding, but it's still below the ATMA. So this could go either way. Be careful. MK, MRK, it's working okay, it's below the ATMA, it's at the $60, $61 level. We need to see price move above the ATMA. If that happens, target 62, 53, 64, 28, top of the channel, somewhere around 66. Stop. Stop below 61. Nept, massive run. Sent it alert here around 320. Pull back, borderline, came down to 3, borderline, then found the support, and on this day, reached 350, 354. And then the following day, positive opening and ran to the first target, the second target at 380, first target 380, and second target at 442. And then today, an inside day, below the 380, but above the 18A, the 3MA. So this overall is an inside day with profit taking. This could roll over and test the $3.315 support area. Again, I hope you took your profit. This went from 2 to 4. That's almost uh, 270 to 440. That's about 80%. Yeah, so I hope you took some off the table since when we gave you the alert. This might be also an opportunity to re-enter, um, especially if 350 holds. We'll pull back. Targets moving forward are again 442, 531, and 606. And Vita, Vita is working okay, but um, it's not an exciting stock. It's still right there. It's above eight. Still above eight. Looking for 892 and nine in the 1040. Uh, stop below 8, or the 21 simple moving average, which is 782. PI continues to work. After this day, come da came down, tested 21, bounced, and then moved up. Uh, yes, there was a reversal day. Today, kind of a continuation still above the ATMA. We need to see a push through 23, which could bring us up to 24, the eight, uh, 200 simple moving average, and then 2471 and 2753. UTNT continues to work. Beautiful breakout. Reached three, uh, two targets, 773 and 864. Consolidated. Yes, they broke out, and today continues the consolidation. In an ugly day, like we saw in the market, this looks like it wants to go much higher. Looking for 990, 990, 1099, and 1286. RG and X working really well. Same story. Big, beautiful run. Consolidation above uh, 6588. I'm looking for 71, 68, 76, and 81. As long as it stays above the 8, and in this case the 3MA, the red line, the green line, it is good to go. Rocco. Rocco moves quite significantly, still above the 8MA and the trend line channel. So that's positive, and 44. 
this is a reversal signal but the volume is not huge so it's a good sign but a move below 4460 this could roll down to 42. a push through 47 which is our target could send us up to test the top of the channel around 47.63 and then 51.657 and somewhere around 55 area. Cien, this is coming off the list, rolling over. SPTN. This worked really well throughout here, three, four days, bullish run from the breakout at 21 all the way up to 27 in four days. Consolidated, found the stall right here at 27, now it's rolling. When I see this kind of rolling, I want to see wave 1, wave 2, wave 3. This is not happening, so this is consolidating. This could at some point break and reach 31, but it could more, just easily break below 24 and come down and test uh, 23 and then this descending trend line. So this could go either way. It's a consolidation, you don't know. Overall, again, I say um, 41 is the target. SVU, it's working well. Broke above the highs right here at uh, 27.70, still holding above it. Today extended to 21.22 and pull back. OBV still pointing up, green bar volume, bar, uh, positive uh, up bar volume, that's good. Looking for 22.29 and uh, 23.70, 23.80, somewhere around there. But I'm going to put the target right there. 2380, 2563, uh, and then top of the channel, that would be sometime in the next few months. But that's the direction. This is holding very well. As long as the bottom of the channel holds, stay long, this looks very positive. Tiva is consolidating. It's a consolidation above the ATMA and above 2370. This area needs to hold. Looking for a breakout above this high at 2480. The target is 2585, 2779. And at some point, 2930. TL, GT, broke out, consolidated right above the breakout, so this needs to hold. I'm looking for force um, 12, which uh, we uh, reached quite, we didn't quite reach yesterday, but very close. And then if we push through force 7, for um, uh, 12, we could see the 200 symbol the moving average, 512 and 605. Stop below 360, 365. PNDM continues to work. This is an amazing run since we sent the alert down at uh, 8. Down here. Beautiful run. Now 2030. As long as continues to close above the 8, stay long. Okay? Targets again 2141, this is yesterday today. A push through it 2476, 28, and 23. TXMD, break out, go back, consolidated. On this day, looks like one had to go higher, it didn't. Consolidated. It's still above the 8 MA today, first time. Well, not really. Also, yeah, close below the ATMA, but it's still positive. Yeah, I want this low to hold. 680, 690, 678. Those areas need to hold. They fell, it will roll down to 640, 638 area. A break above 748. You could see top of the channel, 822 and 890. Under Armour, it's uh, at a beautiful run, and now it's in consolidation mode with more, more upper shadows and the OBD below the moving average. So that's not a good sign. For now, I'm gonna say this comes off the list, continues to close below the ATMA. And uh, if we see some positive breakout out through this area, then we could see around to 24, 26, 29. If you do like this company though, stop below 22. UIS continues to work, still above the ATMA, positive, extended yesterday as high as 1390, the target was 14. If we can break above that, we could see 15, 16, and 16, 64. Move below 13, uh, 19, we could see a drop down to the moving average right here. So 13, 19 needs to hold. USAT, USAT is in consolidation mode. 14 is definitely a strong resistance. Price just can push through. And now OBD is pointing down right above the, um, uh, the moving average. If you see the uh, OBD moving below the moving average and volume increase this could roll down so make sure this area holds i mean this area right here holds trend channel there it is. and we need to push through those eyes uh, 1470 nice break like here it looked like it was gonna go it didn't so make sure this area holds target 16 15 53 15 17 55 and 20 70. the stm 
breakout consolidated and today is rolling down, it's still above the 18 a that's positive and the top of the channel. This had a nice run from 6, uh, 40, when I gave you the alert, all the way up to 9. Consolidation and above the 18 a At some point, this is going to be a good place to re-enter, somewhere around 7.20, testing the low, or the 18 a testing the 7.35. I think this wants to go much higher, we are looking for 9.70, 11 and 14. But don't try to catch a falling knife, because this is what could happen, okay? Why are CW? It's looking... Uh, okay, it's consolidating above 1080. This is a strong support. Make sure this area holds. And we also have a strong resistance here at 1130. So we we'll need to push through here, and hopefully we can see 12. It's also strong resistance. After that, 13 and 1430. 1080 needs to hold. And finally, Zag continues to work after having breakout here, consolidated, push through 15, consolidation now another push through 1570, extended as high as 18 today, 43, pull back. It's still holding above support of 18 and the 18 a Looking for 1960 and 21. The 18 a needs to hold. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Again, a difficult market, difficult conditions in the market. Take profits when you can, not when you have to, and keep your stops in place. I'll be gone tomorrow and throughout the weekend, but we'll see you again here next week. Good trading!